Hello, uh, I'm Ridwan and I'm going to show you the Open Bravo POS integration. Basically, POS integration is um, a, the communication or and synchronous sending of information between the ERP side, which is Idempier 1.0c as of uh, 5th October to the open Bravo point of sales and you can have multiple clients out there remotely and they will be linked via a middle server okay. so there is also a guide for you to look at in the SourceForge repository here go to sourceforge.net projects read one files p2 post integration plugins and you see the same readme file here and there is already prepared a link which you copy uh, and paste into your OGI console which will fetch this now you go to the OGI console right, and we will run IDMP client at the same time I have the ActiveNQ service up so you can check this ActiveMQ server here <clears throat> there it is and let's make sure it's clear let me delete everything so I'm starting from a blank so you have this FQ MQ server set up now um, before I log in I'm going to now run the installation script but first I call the console SS as you can see the idempier stack is here and you do not have point of sale in there the point of sale integration side so now I'll, I'll paste what I've copied here it is now it's going to the internet and yes fetch it the plugin and plugins 478 is installed all you need to do now is to start it 478 and what it does is also it will automatically pack in the little model for the server side and uh, the plugin and to connect with the uh, process classes in the plugin now is installed you give a check it's active and so uh, login to your client let me put it let me put it into another location it's easy. so in the menu you see it's in but you do not have the other processes so you do a roll access update yes and uh, log in again hmm <coughs> At the same time, um, I want to clear my point of sales, right? my previous point of sale here, let me delete that, so that, so that when I have my point of sale running, right? this is my point of sale um, instance and I'm starting it up so yeah you see you start with no database and I'll click yes so it's a blank point of sale from open bravo there's nothing inside you see there's no customers or um, products no customers or stock or, or products there's nothing so I'm going to now synchronize from the middle server once it fetch it from the ERP side but first let me set it to localhost you can have your um, middle server anywhere and just point to it so now I'll save this that's all I need to do and just exit and come back in again before I can
get it in I must have my queue which will fetch from the ERP so back to the IDMP ERP and uh, ready to export again to your middle server select your price list and the category of products you understand incidentally only one category is coded um, but you can change your code so I'll open source and upgrade that up committed so here it goes yes successfully sent seven products and three customers and we check it in the yes active MQ Apache server they are there so now your point of sale is ready to fetch them and just click on this button so it can be standalone anywhere but through the internet you were able to fetch the same information that was sent to this particular point of sale which is defined as a single location now get to your restaurant and now you can start to have your date ordering the food stuff let's imagine this uh, food stuff and okay now you're ready to pay oh yes you can set to your customer Joe block and you can split the bill let's split the bill the girls want to pay for herself uh, she took mm, she took one of this one of this and all of that 51 she pays with $55 at the change leaving for Joe block the guy to pay the other one and wow that's a lot and he does not have enough cash so he's gonna pay check 100 ah and now pay is five dollars so okay mm -hmm. give it to yep so all is cleared and you can check in the record that these two is done yeah and you can go back to the synchronization part press this you send back the two details to the Apache active MQ if you click here you see that the orders are there so coming back to the or end of the day um, the point of sale can now pick up from all the the ERP site can now pick up all the point of sale that is sent to the FTFMQ and just um, click on start and you pick from the orders. Yes, it did. Five lines, it's a joke here. And now if you go to process it, you find that the orders are back. So here it's crowd. Um, they have been given the document number, it's another number. There's two orders, remember, one with Three items and only two items. Let me just just uh, process them and make it complex so everything will happen automatically now, including inventory, invoice generation, and um, accounts posting. All right, it worked beautifully. Two orders inserted, and let's look at the orders. Here they are. It's one of them. And this is the other one. So you can examine that. You got the customer, you got what they took. Right? Here they are. Hmm. And the quantity. Okay. And it's all processed. Okay. You can drill through. Go zoom across to the invoice to see the accounts and uh, okay status reference and we could view hmm. so no we do not have show accounts here, which is basically just 
going to show count tap and we could have it again let's do that again to show you the accounts has been processed so we get to the uh, order again and you see uh, but let's drill to the invoice and see everything is done automatically uh, let's give a check to the inventory right? and you see that the inventory of um, the stuff that we took from the restaurant uh, four of these was taken so it was previously 20 so now it's 16 so here it is full round demonstration very fast of the a point of sale that you can set up separately automatically but through a, a middle server and setting up the ERP side through the plugin was very quickly done in this few minutes so that's it and uh, you can uh, go through the manual and there are more links there for you to communicate back if you have any feedback thank you very much for watching